everybody, it's Mary Rose Solis with March Forward, and this week it's all about how to brand your brilliance. But before I kick off the great content regarding the different types of strategies that are available to you to brand your brilliance, I wanted to start with getting some clarity first. Are you clear as to what your two waves are? Your first wave and your second wave? You even know what I'm talking about? <laughs> if you don't, Listen in, this is going to be part one, the first wave. I've talked about this before, but it's about finding your way first, your worth, advantage, your vision, and expertise. You have to have clarity on these things. And how this relates to you is more specifically around the more bigger picture, right? The industry or profession that you have chose to put yourself in, right? Or have declared yourself an expert in. So when I say define your worth, that's more about your industry's worth, right? Evaluating your current industry or profession and understanding where the trends are taking it. Is it an industry that's innovating? Is it an industry that is on the rise or on the decline when it comes to professions, right? Is it something that is viable for us um, in this day and age? So really take some thoughtful consideration and do the market research, dig deep, to find out what the worth is of the industry that you have chosen or the profession that you have chosen. Second, the advantage. Do you know what advantage you have going into this industry and this profession, right? And declaring and branding your brilliance. You know, you need to come in with an advantage, not build advantage along the way. You should already have an advantage, right? So gather all that information regarding your accolades, your great performance reviews, testimonials, recommendations. Assess your advantage because that's going to be important as we start to define the strategies that that are best going to suit you um, and create the demand for you. And then there's vision. Vision isn't your personal goal kind of vision. It's the vision of what impact you want to leave in the industry or profession that you've chosen, okay? So, for example, you know, if you are in the healthcare industry and specifically technology, do you want to leave an imprint, a practical um, impression, right, about where the technology should be headed when it comes to healthcare, right? Do you want to maybe uh, elevate women in the healthcare technology space as thought leaders or influencers, those that have powerful ideas that are going to change and innovate that particular market or industry? You know, think about the bigger vision that you have and what lasting impression or big footprint or you know, imprint you want to leave in that industry or profession. Finally, expertise. Now, obviously, coming into this, you do already have a commensurate amount of experience in in your professional career that shares you have some expertise in a particular industry. But when I talk about it in this particular context, it's more about understanding your nurtured skills and your natural talents. What nurtured skills have you sharpened over the course of your professional career? What natural talents do you have that come, you know, again, effortlessly, right? That you have seen work time and time again to your advantage, right? Because when you know and can identify those, then they also play a part in the strategies that you choose to take and execute, right? And then they help evaluate whether or not you're gonna be successful and, you know, track who you need to be working with and for, okay? So that's finding the first wave. Right? And that's more rooted on digging deep, doing some research, doing some personal self-assessment, as you can see, and really asking those hard questions as to what the foundation it is that you're going to be working from. And now we're going to look into the platform, which is finding your way from a brand style perspective, your personal brand style. So that's going to be in part two of my video later today, so stay tuned in for that. Until then, march forward!